We're going to use Bode plots for our frequency design method. So first let's look at calculating the Bode plot using the brute force method. We start with the transfer function and we use the substitution S is equal to J omega to convert from Laplace space to Fourier space. Remember this works for our linear systems where nothing happens before time zero. Doing the substitution gives us 1 over 1 plus j omega. I want to now get the complex value out of the denominator, so I multiply by the complex conjugate. The results shown here gives me a complex number with 1 plus omega squared in the denominator. I can write this as the two pieces. This is the real part, and this is the imaginary part. I now want to plot the magnitude and the phase of this number. So first I need to get the magnitude. So crank out the math to calculate the magnitude of a complex number. I take the square root of the sum of the squares of the two components shown here. Here's the real part. Here's the imaginary part. That's a one half. Take the square root, do some simplification, and I'm left with one over one plus omega squared to the one half for the square root. Now I want to plot this value in dB as omega goes from zero to infinity. In order to plot this, I just need to crank out some numbers. So I'm going to start picking values of frequency. This is the frequency scale here in radians per second. I substitute a value of frequency into here. I take the value of this and then convert it into dB. So I take the log of that value, multiply it by 20, and then I plot it. And what you'll find is that the shape looks approximately like this. Almost a straight line and almost a straight line. You should convince yourself that this is what the plot looks like again. This is just a matter of taking values of frequency, plugging them in, cranking through the math, and plotting the values. To calculate the phase, I start with my system. I'm going to scroll up here so you can see the original system. It's right here, and I want to know the phase. So I'm going to find the phase of this, the phase in the complex plane. So that's the angle formed by the from the real axis if I plot this in the complex plane for varying values of omega. And that can be done with the arctangent. So here is the imaginary part, the y-axis part, divided by the real part, the x-axis part. Take the arctangent and I can come up with the phase. And then I plot that. If you then plot the phase, you'll find that you get something that looks like this. This makes sense when omega is zero then you have arctangent of zero which is zero when omega is a large number you have arctangent of infinity which gives you the 90 degrees we're doing phase shift so the negative sign up there gives me the negative value for the minus 90 degrees this gives us the brute force method for drawing the Bode plots a couple key points to remember you start with the transfer function make the substitution s is equal to j omega. Simplify this transfer function until you can divide it into real and imaginary parts. Calculate the magnitude, then substitute in values of omega from 0 to infinity and plot them on the Bode gain axis. Remember the gain is 20 times log of the value and the frequency axis is in a log base 10 of the frequency. That's why it's 0.1110. To do the phase, you take the values and calculate the phase angle, where this is the imaginary part, this is the real part, arctangent, substitute in values from omega, go from zero to infinity, plot those on the phase portion of the Bode plot. The phase is plotted in degrees.